Gary Neville has come out with some very damning words for the Manchester United players that he knows who is behind the dressing room links, leaks, the information coming out of the football club. The undermining of Ralph Ragnick last week is something that when we on the football terrace called it out, many, many, many Glazer simps, many, many, many Man United fans played it down and said the media were making this up, said the media were essentially creating a storm in a teacup, essentially creating lies, clickbait. This is the accusation. Clickbait's a really weird thing. Clickbait's a very strange thing for me. The first time I'd ever heard the phrase, I was like, what's clickbait? And then somebody showed me a video and it was like, how to get abs in just three weeks. And there was a guy clearly on steroids that's been training for 15 years and he shows you these techniques and the diet that he's on. But it's all it's a big for Gazy, right? It's a big for Gazy. You're never going to get that. He's abs in three weeks, right? That's what clickbait used to be. Or um, click here now and and find out a million ways to become a millionaire in, in a year. And you just read it and it's a load of old nonsense. Clickbait now has become a phrase that's thrown at absolutely everything. So a credible journalist for a credible outlet will state that he has been told by someone at Manchester United X, Y, and Z story. And if fans don't like the news, they just say you're doing it for likes and clicks. It's a very weak, a very diluted, a very poor rebuttal. It's not an argument, certainly. It's a very poor rebuttal. It's a very way to push things back. And Gary Neville is again exposed the Manchester United players for what they are. But even more importantly, he's exposed the board for how they've allowed these things to manifest for a very, very, very long time. And it's something that Man United fans should be absolutely fuming about. There's a number of players that are doing this. And I'll get on to later who I think those individuals are. But I just want to take a listen here quickly at what Gary Neville had to say, because his view here is very, very key indeed. Listen to this. In, no, it never happened in my time, but we had we had the greatest level of stability. I always remember when I joined Sky and we had the Champions League in the early years, and I went over to Napoli to do a game. Now, this is really, really important. Really, really important here. I don't know if you were doing that game in Napoli. It was Chelsea v Napoli, and Vias Boas was the manager. And I don't know if you remember, he left out, I think, Frank Lampard, SEN, Cole. He left out four or five prominent players. He was obviously in his sort of last days, and managers do that, don't they? They just sort of, like you say, free hit. And I always remember sat there at lunchtime and with uh, the Sky sort of team that were there that day and the calls coming through to our team and other journalists that were sat around us, you know, slagging off the manager and sort of saying that, you know, leaking team news. And I was like, does this actually happen? Players' agents, players' PR teams are briefing the media on a match day about what's going on in the club. And it was the first time that I'd ever sort of seen it and known it happen. Um, and it really unnerved me. Now, that's really important. We'll come back to that in a second. That's really important because we hear we always hear journalists say a source close to the club. This um, if, they t- if they're telling a story or giving us information that we don't like, we always shoot it down. There you're hearing it from Gary Neville. He may not always be your favorite pundit. He may not always be your favorite person. But I always believe he speaks fairly integrally. He'll just tell you as it is. I don't think he's making that. Like as an example, he ain't making that story up. He saw it with his own eyes. He was shocked by it at the time because he just left Man United where this never went on, ever, during his time there. Didn't. And it un- listen to them words there. It unnerved me a little bit because he saw where it came from. He, he then goes on to say a little, a, a, a little bit more here. But it's happening at Manchester United now. They're at it. They're at it. The PR teams, the... Um, their marketing teams, their agents, they're at it. They're protecting themselves in self-preservation of their own player. But what they don't realise is, unfortunately, that when they do go and speak to the media, those media people come and speak to us. So you hear that there? Their PR teams, their marketers come to us. Sorry, that goes to the journalists. The journalists are then going to people like Gary Neville. So he knows who they are. He knows who they are. And listen to those words back again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to rewind it back a little bit. Listen to, listen to these words again here. Listen. Marketing teams, teams they're, they're, agents, they're at it. They're protecting, protecting themselves, themselves with self-preservation of their own player. player. Self-preservation of their own player. And where, oh where, oh where, have we seen 
have, have we seen this on, 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 on so many occasions? We saw this. Go back to the 12th of January this year. Marcus Rashford on an absolute onslaught of news coming out the club into different journalists speaking about how hard he's working, the extra training that he's doing. He doesn't want to let anybody down. This is what Neville is talking about, in my opinion. And Marcus Rashford is one of the players that I think is leaking information. Now, not all of this information will be, I think Ragnick's a clown. I think Ragnick's a problem. I think Ragnick's a this or a that. Sometimes it's just, well, I'm getting stick or I'm being accused of doing something. So I'm going to protect myself. I'm going to come out of the inner sanctum of the football club and leak information. That information may even be true. Could even be true he's doing all of that. But we want to see it on the football pitch, my friend. We don't want to see it via the media outlets. Now, I, I fervently believe Dean Henderson, Jesse Lingard, Paul Pogba, Anthony Martial, are other names that over the course of time have leaked information. I mean, let's have it right. Since 2019, the Pogba exit saga has been around. It hasn't gone away. Who leaks that information out of Manchester United? Paul Pogba and his team. Nobody else. Nobody else. It's him, his team. But it's been allowed to go on for two and a half years. Rashford's doing something different, but, he, but, but just as bad, in my opinion. I'm going to make myself look good. Forget, I don't care about my, my colleagues or how it makes the manager look, how it makes the club look. I'm going to make myself look good. We've seen Jesse Lingard and Anthony Martial in recent weeks with the, with the element of, uh, well... I've never refused to play. I'm 100% professional. I love the fans. I'd never do that. Bullshit. Just the other day, more leaked information about referring to the assistant manager as Ted Lasso. Not liking the training sessions. In fact, Cristiano Ronaldo himself, this is today, does not believe Ragnick has the level to manage Man United. He's an interim manager. Look at that. Rep. Reg Regnick's comments on Ronaldo's goal scoring record has increased his anger. Their relationship between the pair is fractured. Why is this coming? Why is it always coming out? It's not one player. It's a lot of them. It's an absolute lot of them. Rashford, Rashford really sprung to mind with what Gary Neville said about the self-preservation. But that's what they were all doing. They are all doing it. Self-preservation, self-preservation, protect, protect, protect. They may all have different agendas and different wants to get out of this, but it is going on. And I'm calling now for these Glazer simps to stop. I'm calling now for these, <sighs> these gullible fans. The journalists are not making this up. Where, where, where you're right is when a, when a, Something gets twisted. So when Jose Mourinho back in 2016 said, had the headline that his life in Manchester was a disaster. But actually, when you read the transcript, he said when he goes out and the journalists and paparazzi follow him everywhere when he's trying to have private time, that's a disaster. That's a bit of a disaster. He didn't say life in Manchester is a disaster. That's when he called the media out for creating a headline that has nothing to do with what's being said. But these are players via their marketing and agent agencies and PR teams Spreading stories, leaking information, undermining the management every single step of the way. Marcus Rashford is not the only guilty party in this. I believe Ronaldo. I believe Pogba. I believe Martial. I believe Henderson. I believe uh, uh, Jesse Lingard. To, to name a few, of 110% done this. 110%. And I know the reaction I'm going to get to this video. You're just doing it for clicks, Terry. You're just doing it for attention. What a weak response. What a weak response from you. This is one of the components as to why we are not successful. A huge component. Player power. This is player power to the nth degree. And we do nothing as a football club to stop it. Or we have done nothing for a football club to stop it. It's outrageous. It's outrageous. Outrageous. And from my point of view, uh, I can take the heat. I don't care. Any Man United fans don't like what I'm saying. 
I, I love my football club. And for me, this stuff needs to be called out, highlighted and pushed to be stopped. Because until it does, Man United are not going to get better. Man United are not going to improve. We are absolutely, categorically 